Hello guys, it's Cody. In this video, I'm gonna show you uh, uh, my new updated shortcut Spotify playlist to Apple Music. Apple Music is quite popular these days, so I thought I th thought about updating this shortcut. Well, uh, unlike the previous version, this one will use the third part service and this uh previous version can only transfer the first 100 tracks so this uh doesn't have that limit and uh, no setup uh at all uh but, but you must make the spotify playlist a public one so this can of course uh the previous uh, we use your api that that can transfer uh private playlist but this one cannot so let me just uh, open my Spotify. I'm showing you how it works. Um, just uh, transfer this playlist and just uh, copy the link. Share and copy the link. Uh, you can also run it from the share sheet if you would like. Uh, just uh, run it from the uh, copy the uh, link. Uh, you see the link here. I tip down. Well, uh, you, you get all the tracks in this playlist. So, uh, transfer all, all of them will take some time. So, let me just uh, select three of them. Three songs. Okay. I will search. Uh, you see, uh, here is add uh, iTunes products to my music library, and uh, you can add this shortcut to change it to your any playlist that you have created. Well, this uh, uh, after uh, adding search, f and for each track, the shortcut will waiting will wait three seconds if you transfer less than 20 songs you can do this wait action to make it quicker uh, but uh, if you want to transfer more uh, itunes or, or has have the uh, limit that you cannot search if for more than 20 tracks in one minute so i added this uh, wait three seconds action that's why uh, it will take this this long why it should take this long um, oh uh, this, this actually will add, sir, will add 25 25 items uh, to your playlist so let me just uh, open Apple music same library songs you see ah uh, you get the many versions of one more night one more night uh, and uh, seven years seven years better love so let me just uh, uh change this to one instead of 25 so you just just need one song also, I'm gonna let's just say. Also, one thing I want to change is this. Uh, choose from the. Uh, you sh it should be select all initially. So it's. Uh, I'm just. Uh, Try it again. This time I'm gonna transfer all this playlist. Share. Let's, this this time I'm gonna. Uh, let me just uh, save the shortcut. Tip down. Spotify playlist to Apple Music.
Spotify playlist to Apple Music. It's this shortcut. Let me just run it. Okay, all the tracks are selected initially, so let me just uh, tap down. Okay, it's all complete. Just open Apple Music, you see the newly added tracks here. Okay, one thing I forgot is, uh, as you can see, this uh, by shortcut by default will add the uh, master tracks to your music library. You should change this to all playlists you just you have created. For example, uh, or this you just tap on it; it will show you all your pl playlist and your library so you can uh, transfer it to the to all your playlist i would just uh, leave it to my music library and share this shortcut i'll share a link in the description just copy the link and uh, add it to your shortcut uh, collection and if you see the uh, untrusted shortcuts are uh, this uh, happens in iOS 13 and 14 um, you can just create a new shortcut if you haven't created a new shortcut or run it run it once any shortcut is just drag dragging any actions uh, then you go to settings and uh, shortcuts and uh, Toggle on this option and un allow untrusted shortcuts. Then you can add any shortcuts that you like. Okay, uh, that's uh, pretty much it for this video. Hope you find it helpful. If you do, please subscribe or share more videos just like this one. As always, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.